It's a disease that hasn't hit America with force since the 1860s, but cholera is once again a problem in Iraq. Usually there's just a handful of reported cases each year, but the latest World Health Organization figures make grim reading. 30,000 Iraqis with symptoms, more than 3,000 confirmed diagnoses, but so far only a dozen deaths. Cholera's wasting symptoms include watery diarrhea, vomiting, severe dehydration and kidney failure. For the most vulnerable, the weak, the elderly and nursing mothers, death is swift but agonizing. Each day we have a number of the cases admitted in this hospital, specifically in this department. Uh, it's contain all age group and uh, most of them become better after resuscitation with IV fluids and specific treatment. The worst hit part of the country is northern Iraq. This is Suleimaniya's main hospital. The wards are full and doctors who are already resource poor have a hard time coping with the influx of patients. You catch cholera by drinking contaminated water or eating contaminated foods. Countries like Iraq with ongoing violence, a huge refugee crisis and a lack of basic infrastructure are ideal breeding grounds for an epidemic. A box of water like this costs three or four dollars, but the monthly costs are just too much for many families. So they rely on this, municipal water from potentially unclean sources. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization is trying to send millions of water purification tablets to the region, and the Iraqi government is sending help, but the response has been slow. Likewise, the US has spent millions on sewage treatment plants and water pumping stations, but it hasn't stopped the health of Iraq's people from sliding backwards. We advise the patients, the cases, or to uh, boil water or to use uh, some simple steps to hygienic uh, control of the water and that's all. So far the cholera epidemic has hit half of Iraq's provinces and doctors say the disease will spread as the weather cools and people travel more, visiting friends and family, perhaps with food prepared in unclean water. Ironically, as security improves too, many more Iraqis are moving around the country, potentially spreading the disease as they go. In Baghdad, David McDougall, Fox News.